Hi everyone, my name is John McBride. I'm a science educator. I've been involved in science education for the last 31 years. Um, this July program with the educators on TTP, I'm trying to follow on from a short course that we'd started last year, which is about transforming or transformative conceptions of science teaching. So the theory that we're looking at is bridging theory, which was developed by Costa, and we're looking how teachers can be tour guides to take learners from their world into the world of science. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor. How can I get there? You need, to, you need to be displayed in school, and you need high marks in maths, physics, and English. How can you advise me to manage my finance world? Fifteen-year-olds are worried about finances. And I think 27-year-olds in 15, 12 years' time are going to be very worried about finances. And again, I ask you, where are they going to learn it? and how they're going to learn it. This is the second year that I'm working with the educators because we think that it's important that we don't just make a difference in learners' lives, but we make a systemic change. I am giving you the responsibility this morning of becoming an investor, becoming a blesser, <laughs> a knowledge blesser, a skills blesser. Make the investment. Design things for your learners that will engage them. My name is Mavis Lisoga. I am from Limpopo province and I'm teaching physical sciences. I've been a teacher for 17 years now. I've been part of TTP. This is my fifth year coming here. The greatest impact that I have through TTP, it is the understanding of the millennium learner. Since I am a BBT, I was born before technology. So my understanding of these learners, it was very much difficult. But through TTP, I understand them better and they even helped me to build those bridges from my culture to their culture. The way this program changed how I teach is because my method with the old method, like the walk, talk, chalk, like the textbook method, the traditional way of doing experiment, mostly which was demonstrating where I will be doing the experiment and my learners will be just observing. But through TTP, I have, gone, I have gained those skills and the confidence again, so that I will let my learners do the practical on their own, do their own thinking, presenting in their own work. My name is Chris Human. Um, I work for a non-profit organization called the Ukukonda Institute. I teach mathematics, but I teach it in a way related to science. So although it's mathematics, there is a lot of science applications. One, one reason for having financial mathematics in the curriculum is to, to start to develop this awareness with our students about the money I have in my hand, the, 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 the choices that I have, what can I do with it? We have a 6% yearly interest rate. What would be the salary amount five years ago that had the same purchasing power so that could buy the same number of breads as the 40,000 40, now. Focus area for this year is this financial mathematics and calculus. When I do the calculation, ask myself what salary had five years ago the same purchasing power as 40,000 Rand now? I see, no, it is actually fair. We're earning about the same. My name is uh, Muslim Lokoti. I'm 30 years old. I have five years teaching experience in mathematics. Um, I teach at Sir John Adamson High School in Joburg South. 
Um, I think their experience was quite positive and good. You know, they have good feedback about the program as well, and that they've learned a lot as well as, te as maths and science teachers. I'm hoping to take uh, back to my learners a more practical approach to mathematics, a more real-life approach to mathematics. We have a few general things that teachers can learn whilst doing math financial mathematics and calculus that will help them with problem solving in general. Well, the program will actually just allow me to dwell more into more real-life uh, application of mathematics, of which the curriculum now doesn't really tackle that too much. It doesn't have, we don't have room to do that. But um, this program is saying to me, you know what, you must make room to actually teach real life mathematics to your learners. The impact that I wish to make to my fellow educators at school is to not take, um, I think, the classroom environment for granted because I've had the opportunity now to actually be the learner and sit at a desk and a table and I haven't done that since I was in varsity. And it's just um, something that we need to address as teachers, like we need to put ourselves in the shoes of the learner, you know. It's not always about us standing there and imparting knowledge, I mean, we need to think about how this knowledge is being received every time you speak, every time you, you teach the learners, how are they receiving it, where their mind is, you know, and how to keep on engaging them within the classroom environment. So it's about just having a different view of the classroom, not only from one point of view. Um.